Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen. We are in week number 13 of this course. Um, this week is talking about special circumstances or special populations. So we'll be going over childbirth, pediatrics, and then um, older adults and those with special physical or functional needs. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. And then we'll talk about what's due for the week. All right, so um, as normal, you'll see the outcomes for the three chapters, and then you'll read the three chapters, 24, 25, 26. There's a video on emergency childbirth, uh, checking a responsive child, so using sample with a child, and then um, a video about cognitive disabilities. Your discussion this week is about caring for someone with a special circumstance, so you'll be discussing um, a possible scenario and then what other types of um, special circumstances you can come across and how to deal with those. And then your assignments, uh, as always, just the workbook questions and answers. And then you're creating a video using sample with a child. So you want to uh, make sure that you talk about in the video the differences between sample with an adult and sample with a child, such as um, where you need to be eye contact wise, how you need to frame the questions, who you get consent from, those types of things. And then this week, your first aid earthquake and fire escape plan project is due. So let me go ahead and open that up so we can talk about that a little bit. So I kind of, I introduced it last week as far as what to look ahead for for this week. So what you wanna do is create a first aid kit. So you'll create this for your home in a situation that you can just pull out uh, if there's ever an emergency, such as even a cut, things of that nature. Um, what you'll wanna do too is make it specific to your situation. So if you know um, there's maybe a lot of uh, children in the house, you'll want more bandages, those types of things. If you have some um, older adults that might need aspirin, so you'll wanna put that in your first aid kit, something of that nature. Okay, and then you'll wanna do first aid and then you'll also wanna do an earthquake kit. So you'll wanna include your first aid kit that you created in your earthquake kit, but then you'll also want to have provisions for four days. So I'm talking about food, like canned foods, water, drinks, like that kind of stuff. Any medications they may need. Um, you'll want to have a list of occupants of your home, including pets. Um, and of those occupants, does anybody need medication? Does anybody wear eyeglasses, those types of things. And then you'll do a fire escape plan. So you'll want to create an escape plan for where you're living currently, at least two escape routes, um, and then one safe meeting place. All right, and then you'll also be given three points for clarity, creativity. Um, and I have some examples of uh, each of these components uh, also in the, it's right there. So first aid kit, earthquake kit, and then fire escape plan. So you'll put all these three things together. And this project assesses SLO number four and number five for the course. And you can check back to your syllabus for exactly what those are. Um, and let's see, I think that is it with that. Let me double check. I think the next thing is the wrap up. So you can go ahead and go through the wrap up and um, talk about that. Let me see. I haven't quite gotten up there yet. Hang on a minute. Oh, there it is. Okay. So yes, so the last part of this now is the weekly wrap up. And that is it. So stop sharing. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, you can email me or use the Remind app. Uh, we also have an office hour on Wednesdays from 10 to 11. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful week and a wonderful day. And we will talk soon. Thanks.